بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد سيد المرسلين خاتم النبيين وعلى آله وأصحاب أجمعين My dear brothers and my dear sisters who are watching this program in the month of Ramadan one of the things that I would like to, that I've always tried to do is to understand my faith from what we might call God's perspective. Because we think of things from the human perspective, but what does Islam look like? What does Ramadan mean from Allah's point of view? And the way we can get an understanding of that is by reading the Qur'an and seeing what the Qur'an says because we believe that the Qur'an is God's speech, is God speaking to human beings. And what does God, or the Arabic word for God, Allah, say in the Qur'an? We, as human beings, define Ramadan as the ninth month of our calendar, which is true. But what does time mean? What does Ramadan mean? Allah says in the Qur'an, شهر رمضان, the month of Ramadan, الذي أنزل فيه القرآن. The, the month of Ramadan is the month in which the Qur'an came down. So we can extract from that Qur'anic verse the idea that from God's point of view, Ramadan is defined by the event, the seminal event, the defining event that defines Ramadan. So Ramadan, from the Creator's point of view, is the month in which He sent down the Qur'an. Now, we are also taught that the event of the coming down of the Qur'an is also described as the Laylatul Qadr, the night of power or the night of majesty. And what is the Laylatul Qadr? We have a surah, a chapter of the Qur'an, which begins by saying, Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr. We sent it down on Laylatul Qadr. The next verse says, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا Laylatul Qadr. How, how can you understand or how can you capture the meaning of Laylatul Qadr? I always wondered about why does God say this? And there's a couple of other examples in the Qur'an where Allah says, وَمَا أَدَرَاكَ And how will you know? Or how can you know? Or how can you understand what Laylatul Qadr means? And it's something like if you're a mathematician and your child has heard the word calculus and says, Dad, what does calculus mean? And you say, well, how can I explain to you what calculus means? You know, you start scratching your head. It's almost like Allah saying, well, how can you understand? How can you wrap your head around the idea of Laylatul Qadr? Laylatul Qadr is khawr min al It is. It has more merit, more, more khayr, more good in it than a thousand months. So it's, it's, it's qualitatively... It's not even a quantitative measure because some things are quantitative, but some things are not, cannot be added, all right? Like, let's say, strength is quantitative, all right? Uh, two people or three people, half as strong as I am, can overpower me. But a thousand people, half as intelligent as me, or half as intelligent as you, cannot overpower you. So. Intelligence is not additive. Beauty is not additive, right? And one person as beautiful, uh, or half as beautiful as you are, a thousand people half as beautiful as you are cannot match your beauty. So the, the power, the khayr, the good of, of Laytul Qadr is, is more than even a thousand months. It means it's not, it, cannot be, it cannot be measured by the good that we normally think of in, 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 in thousands, in the thousands of months. But what is Laylatul Qadr? The power of Laylatul Qadr, what is the good of Laylatul Qadr? 
It is the event in which Allah disclosed himself or announced himself to Muhammad. It is symbolic of the moment in which God contacted humankind in a very special way. It was both the event of God and the individual of Muhammad, but the Laylat al-Qadr of Muhammad also had a meaning and power too between God and all of humanity, because it was not only the self-disclosure of God the Creator to the individual of Muhammad, it was also the announcement to Muhammad that he was to be a messenger and a prophet and he had a mandate and a mission to give to all of, human, of all of humanity. Now, we're also taught by the Prophet that he also asked his followers to seek their own experience of Laylatul Qadr. And if you look at the ahadith about Laylatul Qadr, you will find that some of the Prophet's companions experienced Laylatul Qadr in the beginning of Ramadan. And the Prophet acknowledged it. But for those who didn't, he said, look for it in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Was, Don't despair. Keep looking for your own Laylatul Qadr. So we look, when is Laylatul Qadr? Is it the 27th of Ramadan? Is it, as we are taught, one of the odd nights of Ramadan, the 21st, the 23rd, the 25th? or the 29th, but, but then is it, is it the odd night in, in, in Malaysia's time or is it in Pakistan's time? Because we start at the beginning of Ramadan in one part of the world one day and it's another world in another day. So when is Laylatul Qadr? When is the moment of Laylatul Qadr? Laylatul Qadr is not outside there. It is not a time which is outside of you. It is an event inside your own consciousness when Allah's presence becomes disclosed to you. So as Muslims, we are taught by the Prophet to seek our experience of Laylatul Qadr, to understand Laylatul Qadr, and to place it in a, co in a coherent understanding that fits in with our understanding of our faith as a whole. This is the demand and the task of the month of Ramadan and the special gift of the month of Ramadan.